Today I am here to show you how to stop diarrhea in dogs. This is our chocolate lab, Sadie, and she's going to help me today. The first thing you want to do, uh, if it's accompanied with any other symptoms, you want to make sure that you seek veterinary care as soon as possible. Diarrhea in itself isn't that big of a deal, but if your dog is vomiting, if there's blood in the diarrhea, if he um, you know, seems to be really lethargic, anything like that, has a fever, you want to make sure you seek veterinary treatment because the chances are there's something more going on. Um, but but if it's just diarrhea, we can help you learn how to stop it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is avoid dehydration. Now that means that you need to keep your dog drinking water. You may need to add a little bit of low sodium broth or some ice cubes. Uh, use a pet fountain. Um, you may even need to use a syringe to get your dog to drink. Signs of uh, dehydration. So two ways that you can check. One way is uh, to take the skin of the back of your dog's neck and just um, pinch it up and it should go back into place very quickly, which you can see that Sadie's does. If it goes back into place quickly, your dog is not dehydrated. If it goes back into place very slowly, um, almost like it's melting back into place, then your dog is becoming dehydrated. The other thing that you can do is check their gums. Sadie's are nice and pink. Now I'm gonna push on her gums and it turns white in that spot, but quickly pinks up again. That means Sadie is hydrated. Uh, if your dog's not hydrated, it will stay white for quite a while and take a few seconds to turn it back to pink. You won't notice an immediate change. Um, so you want to avoid dehydration, and if your dog does become dehydrated, again, seek veterinary care immediately. Um, no food for the first 12 hours. If your dog has diarrhea, you want to make sure that their system can get cleaned out. After that, uh, you can use a 50-50 mix of boiled boneless chicken and cooked rice. Um, so if you're feeding like say a half a cup of cooked rice with a half a cup of uh, boneless chicken for a large dog like Sadie and you're going to keep that diet um, until the stool becomes hard again and you want to feed about a quarter of a cup for every 20 pounds of body weight and you want to do this four times a day. So smaller meals spread out over the day that's going to help to um, get rid of any symptoms of the digestive tract and get your dog back to normal. Um, if the diarrhea continues for more than 48 hours, seek veterinary help. Uh, when your dog's stool does return to normal, which would hopefully happen within 12 to 24 hours, uh, you can settle them back into their regular diet um, and get rid of the chicken and rice. You're welcome to feed any extra chicken and rice that you might have that they haven't eaten yet. Um, you can mix that in with their kibble to just gradually get them back on that kibble diet. But once the stool returns to normal, they are fine to get back to their regular diet. If you have any questions about how to stop diarrhea in dogs, feel free to email me, samantha at topdogtips.com. Thanks for watching this how-to guide.